Southwestern Montana News took a short drive out to Grant to sit down and speak with Jacob Reed about Prairie Palooza. Prairie Palooza is being hosted by the Horse Prairie Stage Stop. Prairie Palooza is a homegrown music festival in its first year, and with three days of music, it's a must-see. To get to Grant, you take I-15 south till you reach Clark Canyon Reservoir, turn right and follow Highway 324. It's a beautiful drive, and at the end of that drive, you get to spend three days listening to some great bands like Craig Campbell, Kendall Tucker, the Henry Jacks, Dan Henry, and so much more. You're not going to want to miss this music fest. But, you know, where this all started, I I mean, I guess I've been, I've been dreaming of such an opportunity for a long, long time. And I came and played a show out here. Um, my girlfriend knew the owner, Jason. Vos and uh, I came out and I played a show and he really he really seemed to like it and we got chatting a little bit and they talked you know they said we've done a couple decent concerts out here but let's do something bigger and so my instant thought was festival let's do a festival and <laughs> they just jumped right on board and I tell you what I've I've never met a bit a better team in my life. I mean, just a bunch of, a bunch of good people working together, getting some things done. And this first year, oh man, it's, it's all, it's always a, it's a scare. It, it might be a scratch. Um, but what we're building right now, I, I truly believe will become something awesome and give a lot of local musicians a chance to get on the big stage and get their dream you know a lot of these guys and this is this is a collection of talent that i've met over the last 15 years of playing and uh their talent is just unmatched and unique and original but they have kids or they get big jobs they do one thing or the other and they don't get the chance to go out and really and really give it a go and i i was lucky enough to get that chance and uh, so I wanted to share that with everybody else. And I thought, what better way than a music festival? And the fact that it fell into this, I mean, it's just, it's a dream come true. And a nightmare at the same time. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a lot of fun and it's a lot of work. And uh, I'm excited to see the outcome and I really, I've got good faith that this is going to have quite the outcome. <clears throat> I mean, we got a games commissioner set up. We got uh, cornhole horseshoes. Depending on the breeze, we might throw a little beer pong down. Uh, I got everything donated for a buck and barrel competition. I don't know the last time you guys saw one of those. So you got four or six, six by six posts and ropes down to a 55 gallon barrel. And then you got a bunch of your buddies that are over six foot two, ranking on those ropes. And somebody's got a bowl rope tied to the barrel and they're riding it. Oh man, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't done one since I was about 18 years old, but they are a ton of fun. And I, I think that's just a, a good thing to bring back in, you know, just something to keep a little Montana in the situation. And uh, so we got 18 acts throughout three days. And then we've got a side stage where, as I was explaining earlier, uh, I don't know how many musicians are gonna show up just to play a couple of songs on the side stage. But it's looking like there's quite a few. And uh, our, our marketing gal, Sharon, she has done amazing work. It really stood out, really. Uh, she's she's pretty smart she's not that smart she's my girlfriend but <laughs> but, uh, but she's she really knows what she's doing and because of that we've had bands contacting us from all over the nation and and just asking them how to how to get in and the only thing i have to tell them is there's only one way to get in next year you need to buy a ticket and get your ass up here and play on the side stage and see if we like you or not. I'm not gonna listen to your recording and decide from there. You gotta get up here and show us what's up, buddy. And so we'll, we'll see how all that goes, but I think the side stage being down in the gravel pit is gonna be a lot of fun. 
Uh, it's going to be the late night scenario <clears throat> where things keep on rolling. Hopefully being in that little hole keeps the sound down for some of the campers that are trying to sleep. But I'm not sure that, that is our main <laughs> worry. And uh, so we've got uh, we've got Craig Campbell headlining, and I don't know if you guys know who Craig Campbell is. Craig Campbell, he wrote the song, the one that's on the radio all the time now is uh, "When I Die, I Want to Live on the Outskirts of Heaven." When I die, I want to live on the outskirts of heaven. That's his song, and and. Uh, He's got several that have hit way up in the charts. He's got a song called Fish that I'm in love with. It's uh, one, of the, one of the lines of that is, I've got everything loaded in the back of my truck. I found a girl that likes to fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a good one. He seems like quite the character. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Uh, I think his charisma is going to stand out very well. I think he's going to do really, really good for us. And he is somebody that, uh, you know, has uh, top rated songs, you know, so he's our headliner. He's somebody that can bring some attention. And to get that mixed in with, with this pure, raw talent that's going to be coming in and get them to play on the same stage as somebody so big, I really just, I, I see it being inspirational to these artists that we don't want to lose. We don't want them to stop writing. We want them to keep rolling. We want to see what comes of them next. And, uh, and if nothing, we want to see them bang it out one good time on a big stage and have the time of their lives. And so we've got from Craig Campbell, then we got Kendall Tucker. Kendall Tucker is uh, somebody that has done songs with Colt Ford. He does uh, like country rap, and I'm just I'm rooting for him, man. I, he he really puts himself out there. He does the work, does what it takes, and we we've, we've got uh, Tyler Potter in the last minute surprise. Now Tyler Potter is one of the hardest working musicians I've ever met in my life. He he lives and breathes this stuff, and and to be straightforward, when I met him when he was young, you know, he had some work to do, but he did it. He came through in a big way. He uh, He's actually playing at Rock in the Rivers. And just to see somebody grow like that is, is an awesome, awesome thing to experience. And uh, we've got Copper and Sage, husband and wife couple. Uh, <laughs> Greg and Caitlin Tucker are their names and Caitlin didn't even play music until they, they got hitched and in the last two years maybe it's been three I guess time is flying but they have I mean they've got this amazing folky soulful harmony 
and both of them extremely good riders and we've got i mean we got people coming from idaho uh got some people coming from washington it's it's just kind of a collective piece you know just something to throw everybody out there to throw everybody out there and give them a chance and i think uh you know even if we were only to even out on the whole ball game this year and got our purpose done then i, I think we'd feel like a bunch of winners so it's uh, the festival is the 25th to the 27th of august uh, gates will open for camping the morning of the 25th. Opening ceremony, uh, national anthem, all that. It's going to happen at 1 o'clock, and our first band will start at 2. And uh, this, is, this is where it's got to get you guys. The cost, it's $77 for three days of music, including a headliner as Craig Campbell. It's hard to get Craig Campbell tickets for that much. And he got free camping. I mean, get your asses out here. <laughs> what is there to miss, man? You got, uh, you got nothing but great times ahead. You got tournaments, <clears throat> games, fun, free camping. It, I think it costs more to stay three nights at any camp spot in Montana anymore. And who to thank for that? I want to kick you in the knee, but <laughs> that's, I mean, it doesn't get any better. And the lineup that we have is an amazing lineup. You're going to see so much talent. You're going to see <laughs> people that you're going to want to listen to for the rest of your year. And we'll do the same thing next year. Made in Montana food products? Look no further than Town & Country Foods of Dillon. 